Well, tied your career high, four hits on a home run. Talk about your game here. Oh, yeah, well, we're just trying to play hard and win games. Um, we're not really trying to get hits. We're trying to have good at-bats, and we just want to win the ball game. So, you know, we've had a bunch of guys doing this year, and today was just my day, and it was just some other guys' days, too, and we just played a good game. Did Coach say anything before the game about hitting with runners in scoring position? Well, I mean, we're just always trying to have good at-bats, and, um, you know, we just haven't been able to string a couple together, but today we did, so we did that. Was that a specific point of emphasis after yesterday? Kind of left some people on base, and then it kind of came back. You know, yeah, I'm mean, sure, but we're not trying to like be worried about anything. You know, we're just trying to get up there, have a good at bat, and just today it worked out well for us. Like it's, it's been working out a lot of the years, and sometimes you just hit those stretches where guys are going, you can't get the job done. But you know, we're picking each other up, and we're playing hard together, and that's what happens when you come back that day and just you keep doing what you're doing, staying with the process. How did Aiden set the tone for you guys? Yeah, he looked good today. Um, really filling it up, you know, making his pitches, and just got some guys out in the situations. He was able to flow off us, hit, and get some, get some runs, and uh, he did that. Did you see Casey's catch in left field? Oh, yeah. Full of What did you say? Great catch. One of the best this year. What about the entire outfield? I mean, they're just saving yeah, runs yeah. left and right. Yeah, we talk about it all the time. They, they make a lot of plays out there, and they make it easy for us. You know, when the balls stick out there, we really think they're going to get it every time, no matter where it is. When you see, you know, the bullpen kind of struggling with the last couple games, is it kind of an extra point of emphasis by the offense trying to, you know, put up as much runs as possible and, you know, make it easy? Yeah, not really. I mean, we're, we're trying to do the same thing every day. Just, you know, baseball's a hard sport, so sometimes it doesn't work out, you know. And some days they're shutting people down, and we're not getting runs. Some days we're getting runs, they're not shutting people down, so we're just trying to play ball and you know just stay with the process and not worry about the outcome and just stay together. What was going through your head when you hit your home runs? <laughs> I don't hit many so uh, yeah, that was that was that was pretty cool and I was able to give A Mad some some talk because he had the lead for homers up the middle for like four or five innings and so I was able to time that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I mean, bull, bullpen really needed a good outing after the last few games, and you were able to come through. Well, how, how big was that for the bullpen for you to come through like that? Yeah, um, you know, I, I felt as though I just tried to go out there and give it my shot. Whether the thing about the bullpen is you kind of don't know if you're going to go one inning, two innings, or three innings, or however long. And I just kind of took it batter by batter, and I was, I'm thankful that I was able to kind of give some guys some rest that needed it. Yeah, what's your mindset when you're home? Uh, me personally, I just try to think about getting our guys back, back hitting. Um, try to get back in the dugout as fast as possible, and uh, try to be efficient out there. And I guess just give our our team the best chance to win. As a unit, do you kind of take it personally after the last two games and kind of you know be efficient today? Yeah, I think that was definitely on our mind. Um, Coach Forbes stresses a lot, just take it game by game, and he told us last night that adversity is really what's going to make or break this team. It's either going to make us a lot better or it's going to be the downfall of us, and I think that today we were able to show that it did make us a little better, and I'm glad that we got the win today. Is that like a group meeting you had kind of with the whole bullpen? Yeah, uh, not necessarily just the bullpen, it's just our team meeting after the game. Um, that was his main focus, it was short and sweet, and he said that you know these two games are either going to make us a hell of a lot better or we're going to crumble. And, He's excited to see what we did today, and I'm glad that we kind of showed that. What was working for you on the mound tonight? Definitely my changeup. Um, with them being a, a lefty-heavy lineup, I knew Coach Gaines was going to call a lot of change-ups, and I was just able to get them where I wanted them today, and that felt that that allowed me to have success. What did you see from Aiden? I mean, he was a bullpen weapon, now he's starting. He tends to kind of dig himself in those three holes and yes. then come back and strike the batter out. So it's, what did you see from Aiden? It's, it's one of the more impressive things I've seen. Um, with him getting as much use as he did out of the bullpen, we all kind of thought, you know, if, if something ever to, were ever to happen, uh, he would kind of clean that that next starter role because he does have three to four pitches that he can command, and it does scare us a little bit sometimes when it goes 3-0, but you you never you never once think that he's out of the count in that show today. I, I don't know how many he had, but I know he had a couple, just 3-0 to a punch out or something, and, you know, that shows that he never checks out of the at-bat. What is your message to a guy like Kyle or Maddie who have been so consistent all year, but then, you know, coming off a bad outing on Friday and Saturday? Yeah, um, 
like you had just said, they've been awesome all year. Uh, one outing really doesn't doesn't change how people look at them. Uh, you see it all the time. Some guys, luck doesn't go their way that night, and they'll be back right back out there for us, and they'll have success like they have all year. How much has, do you think, fatigue maybe played a role on the bullpen the last couple games? Just because, you know, not as much consistency maybe. Yes. Yeah. Um, I can't speak for the other guys. I know that we have a great training staff that is able to keep these guys on the field. Um, a lot of these were still up this weekend, regardless of the success they had. And, you know, for them to be able to go out there two, three days a week and show that good stuff and have that success, it's a testament to each guy that they're working hard off the field. As one of the older guys, do you try to take a leadership role? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, I've been I've been in the starting role, I've been in the bullpen role, and I think that I offer a good a good viewpoint on everything. Um, you know, the younger guys that need that we need to count on, I think I can try to help them a little bit with whatever they may be asking. Um, and Coach Hell is down there this year too, which is a huge plus for us. Being after the after the all the one run games, it's nice to have a little breathing room and take yeah. nothing to for, for yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, three times we've had our backs against the wall. Obviously, that's not the position we want to be in. At Miami, at Virginia, at NC State, all really tough places to play. I wasn't surprised with what I saw today. Um, obviously, I'm going to talk to the guys and say, hey, let's go ahead and have that. Whatever you have on that day when our backs are against the walls, try to have that for every game we play the rest of the season. So I thought Aiden Howe was huge for us. He set the tone. I mean, that's how – when, you, when you're down two games, the starting pitcher is key. You get behind, it can be an uphill battle. And, uh, you know, Connor Bovair came in and looked great again, which is big for us. We didn't make any errors all weekend. Obviously, we're not happy we lost two. We lost one run games. We'll learn from them and correct those mistakes and hopefully win those series. But that's a big win for us, no doubt about it. How have you seen in Aiden's ability to kind of dig himself into those three holes and then immediately get out of them? He's just like this. I mean, that's just who he is. Like, he's not a real, he'll get excited, but he's really kind of even keeled. And that helps, him. you know, relievers can have a little more like, you know, we gotta go and be pumped up and be running around the mound, but Aiden's, he's not like that. So he's got pitch ability too. He can get back in with any pitch, fastball, change up, or curveball. So I thought he made some, I mean, you look at the home runs he gave up, both solo. Came right back and got the next guy out, and that's really important. He really set the tone in the first two innings. He left the uh, two runners in scoring position yeah. in the first two innings, and that, that really could have easily gone off the rails. No doubt. You get behind, it's an uphill battle. Guys can start pressing. Um, I feel like we have, we're have we good from behind because our offense is potent, but at the end of the day, you know, you're on the road and you're trying to grab a game um, and not get swept, and you don't want to get tight, but if you can get behind, you start pressing more offensively. And our offense, obviously, answer the bell today. How big of an outing was that from Bovere, especially after Posting comes in and then, you know, walks? Yeah, you know, the crazy thing with Posting, the stuff is so good, it's ticking up, um, and we'll work with him. He's one of our best guys. We'll roll him right back out there. I thought his delivery was a little bit slow, so we'll speed him up. But Bovere, man, he, I mean, you're talking about a guy who's a weekend <coughs> starter, pitched a ton for us in 22, and with Folger not being available, we know we got to have some other guys, and Cam threw really good and, and bridged the gap a little bit, and even though we lost, and then Bovere, stepped up so that's going to help us we need more depth in that pitching staff so we can rest Dalton Pants. we can rest post and we can rest Manny Mathias so they won't be so tired at the end of the season so that was the biggest plus for me coming out this weekend and not making errors that's in our outfield defense I mean Lord have mercy I was about to ask Casey D'Onofrio Vance I mean Vance 50 70 yes I and mean, what are we talking about you know people could pick the kid apart and that's what they're going to do because he's so talented but I, I've said it before He's the most talented, best all-around player I've ever coached and ever been around. And he's also the same human being. And that's why he's able to be who he is. But man, all those guys, D'Onofrio, Cook, big play by Cook right there to give them no momentum. Um, and it's hard to, that's why it's so hard to get in our lineup. I mean, you, we're not gonna put somebody else in the outfield to give away outs, because those three guys take them away so much. But it starts with Vance, that's for sure. Normally when we talk about Casey, we're not talking about his defensive ability. Yeah. But I mean, dedication out there. He's a lot him? better than people think. He can, and he's a really good, you can move him. He's a good right fielder, played right field for us last year. He gets a great jump. He doesn't have the speed to no Frio and Vance have, but you saw, you saw him still third in a big situation. Um, he's got a good clock and he gets great jumps on the ball. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times you have one outfielder that's like a banger that's just okay. 
movement. Well, he's our banger, but he's also a really good outfielder. So we're lucky there. I remind our coaches, like, don't miss this. Like, this is a special group. Like, obviously, we have our planning to do for next year's team. But, you know, but those guys are probably going to be gone. You know, obviously, Ants, I don't think I'm talking about coming back. And Nerfie is a grad. You know, we'll see what happens with Casey. But, you know, learning more, I coach. I don't want to miss the kids that are here. And, and those guys are really special. You told me and Tommy, I think, earlier in the week that Madera and Wilkerson have that power. And they both, I mean, what yard. How important yeah. is that to have that extra juice in the bottom of the line? Yeah, Madera, you know, he had been scuffling a little bit, and then he got going. And it's also, I mean, it's important to have the power throughout. Because in it's calling pitches, you know, like, hey, this guy also can hit a double, can hit a home run. But most important for our offense is that those guys, seven, eight, nine, find a way to get on base and turn the lineup over. Because obviously, Denofrio's coming back up, Honeycutt's coming back up, Casey Cook, <clears throat> Parks Harbor. I mean, those guys, they have big time power. Uh, so we talked about that, and that's helped them also with their power because, you know, their swings are shorter. And Amad, he, he's just not overmatched by fastball. And, and he, he has good at bass. Same thing with Cole. <clears throat> Lead off free passes have kind of been kind of an issue yeah. this year, especially from the bullpen. What do you think that's a symptom of, and how do you kind of fix trying to it? be, you know, knowing they have to, and I'll work with them. You can't think, don't walk them because it's the lead off guy. Just go after his tail. Um, you got to emphasize it, but not talk about it too much, and that could be the case. Um, but obviously, that's a big deal. Is getting the lead off guy out. I keep it on my game card, and then see what happens after it. But we also talk about if it happens, flushing it really fast and getting the next out. It's like a mistake, just get the next out. So we'll work on that. And, you know, the bullpen's good. I mean, if you look at our season, our bullpen has been really good. They just weren't real good Thursday and Friday, but they were good today. Posting Walt the two, and another guy came in and picked them up. Did, did like this and the Miami win, or those character wins? You know? Yeah, Virginia too. I mean, you're Virginia. talking you just do your research and look at the their win-loss records at home. Miami, one of the most historical programs. I know they're scuffling, but they're good at home, really good at home. NC State's really good at home. And Virginia's like us. You know, all these teams in the league, they're really good at home. And there are times where you got to find a way to grab a game. You know, obviously, you got to win series when you get into the postseason. But we're talking about this season's a long season. The league's a grind. So that's one thing we've been able to do. You know, teams had a chance to sweep us, and we stepped up and prevented that from happening. And that's three wins. You know, at the end of the day, and that puts us at 16 wins in the conference. Obviously, you have Monica D'Onofrio at the top of the lineup that will expect to steal bases. Mm -hmm. But Casey and even Harvard today yeah. with some swipe bags. How important is having those guys who can also just... Yeah, we work really hard on it. You know, we want anybody to be able to steal a base. Harbor, <coughs> Harbor's with luck because Casey went. And I don't know what Alberto <laughs> was doing. But I'm at Madera can steal a base. Um, Kobe Wilkerson is still a base. You know, we work hard at ball stealing, timing up the pitcher, putting pressure on the defense because we want that to be in the scan report so the pitcher knows he has to be quicker. So maybe he'll lose a little bit of his stuff and make mistakes, and that's helped us with the speed game for sure. One more. You good? Yeah, thank y'all. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.